enjoy increased productivity by doing AI powered chats with YouTube videos on Notebook LM. Notebook LM is Google's AI powered note taking app. Notebook LM can serve as your virtual research assistant. You can access Notebook LM at notebooklm.google. Notebooklm.google. And then click Try Notebook LM. And you sign in with a Gmail account. Notebook LM is powered by Gemini. Gemini is Google's most advanced artificial intelligence. Gemini is particularly good at text based tasks. In the MMLU Massive Multitask Language Understanding benchmark, Gemini beat GBT4 and the human expert. So one of the attributes of Notebook LM is known as source grounding. Source grounding, meaning that you input your sources that you select, and Notebook LM will only analyze your sources. So you don't have to worry about outside sources corrupting your portfolio. So Notebook LM is grounded in your sources. Another benefit of Notebook LM is that you can put up to 20 sources. So like 20 PDF files, 20 uh, Word, uh, Google Docs, or text files. And each source can have up to 200,000 words. 200,000 words. As a comparison, Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter book was about 77,000 words. So 20 sources, each source can have 200,000 words. That's up to 4 million words, which is equivalent to over 50 Harry Potter books. So let's go to Notebook LM. So notebooklm.google, click Try Notebook LM, sign in with a Gmail account. In the first page, at the bottom of the first page, they have example notebooks. You can click and see uh, Google's demonstration of Notebook LM. What you'll want to do is open up a new notebook. So under Notebooks here, click the plus sign, name a project title, and then save it. I did. Uh, I created a notebook earlier, and I called it Marketing 16. Now on the uh, uh, on the notebook page, at the bottom is a prompt box. That's where you type in your request to the artificial intelligence. For example, summarize uh, the source. At the right, there is an arrow pointing up. It's a carrot, and that's how you open up the chat. So there's two views. In this view, these are notes. This was my note that I took. This was very interesting, and I'll discuss this later. But we're going to start off with the, the chat conversation. So open up the chat, and you're going to want to upload a source. So I have already uploaded in my notebook a source. This is a chapter out of a marketing college textbook. So I'm going to add a source, and this is where we get into uh, to, uh, chatting with a YouTube video. The um, Because of, uh, there's three things that make Notebook LM very appealing uh, very powerful to use right now today. If I would have to say it, it, Notebook LM is the tool that is ready right now for real world use. One, it's based on Gemini, which is Google's most advanced artificial intelligence, and it's state of the art. Number two, it's the source grounding is very important. I control the sources and I don't have to worry about outside sources corrupting the outputs. And number three, is with each response, Notebook LM will provide citations. It will show you exactly where it got uh, its answers from the original source document. These three things make the outputs more reliable. Um, and then each source can have up to 200,000 words. Again, that's, that's more than two Harry Potter books. And you can have 20 sources, so 4 million words, over 50 Harry Potter books. So that's what makes Notebook LM really, really powerful. 
And so uh, you, it can analyze PDF files, uh, but it also can, uh, this is how I use it to analyze YouTube videos. So this is a YouTube video comparing Wix and Squarespace to build websites. So I scroll down. So to get to, I want to get to the transcripts. So what I do here is in, underneath the subscription, uh, the channel icon, click more, scroll down, click show transcript, click the three buttons here, and that allows you to add or remove timestamps. So I'm going to do it without timestamps, and then I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy the transcript here. Control C. I like to copy it into a text box. Control V. There we go. So now, what I'm going to do is add source, and you can add a source from Google Drive, a PDF file, or copy text. Here we're going to do copy text. I'm going to put here YouTube. I'm going to paste the text here. I'm going to make sure it's all in here. So introduction is the first word at the top, and at the bottom is foreign. Uh, let me just delete that. All right, so then insert. So again, opening chat. So go to the at the bottom in the gray box the right upper corner of the gray box, click the arrow, and so here's the chat. So now it's uploaded uh, the source. So if you see here, I have uh, two sources. Both sources are checked. So if you have both sources checked, then it will actually draw from both sources. So I don't want that. Now if you have no sources in the prompt box, you can't, it will not take an input. You must select a source. So again here, my first source, which is the marketing textbook chapter, unclicked, empty box. Now I'm going to click the YouTube video. And then you simply go, uh, here I'm going to do this, summarize in less than 100 words. Here we go. Squarespace and Wix are both popular website builders with their own pros and cons. So this is um, this is a summary in less than 100 words. We can copy it. We can rate it as good or bad. Now, if we like this response and we want to save it later, you can pin it, and it'll go straight to a note. So now we're on the notes page. So this is one that I did earlier. This is interesting. Now you can send it'll copy and paste directly into this note. So the responses that you like, you can just save them. And these are your notes. Um, to add a note, you just click Add Notes. And then you can type. And then uh, you can also delete the note. So a Notebook LM is designed for uh, academic research. And you can use it in uh, high school, uh, college, universities, uh, law firms. Any, any. Uh, there's many uses for it. But the these notes help you, uh, help you maintain the notes. Now, g again, going back to the prompt box at the bottom in the gray box, click Open Chat. Now, earlier the chats that you're seeing above here are ones that I did. Uh, with this same video. 
And let me let me go through my responses here. My first prompt was summarize, and it gave me a summary. Then I asked, what are the pros and cons of Wix? It gave me the pros and cons. Then I said, this is a prompt that I really like. Make a table comparing Squarespace and Wix with pros and cons. This was very helpful. Squarespace and Wix, a comparison. Squarespace, Wix. And then it had categories, templates, editor, features, e-commerce, SEO, security, pricing, overall. And under each uh, category, it has the pros and cons. This, is a, a, this got me very excited. And so what I did here was, now you can just copy it, and then you can paste it to an outside source, or actually better here is to pin it, and it'll go straight into a note. So here's that table comparing Squarespace and Wix. So now going back to the chat, let me show you something else here. So this was from my chat uh, of the um, marketing textbook. At the bottom of Notebook LM's answer here, it says 10 citations. I want to show you this. When you it will, the t these are the ten spots on your source document that Google LM drew from. So I'm clicking source one, and it will take me. So I click source one, and it shows me where on the original source document that. It got its answer from. So you can fact check Notebook LM's answer with the original source document. So for me, this is, it addresses all my uh, issues that I've had with artificial intelligence. And so uh, Gemini was introduced to the world by Google on December 6, 2023. And then Notebook LM and Bard both use Gemini. And I'm going to say that this history will show that this was the beginning, the true beginning of the AI revolution. Uh, before it was uh, it was developing, but Notebook LM and Bard both have Gemini. They're widely accessible. Uh, in comparison, uh, OpenAI's GPT-4 and ChatGPT are less accessible. Microsoft Copilot, um, it's available on Bing, but if you want to do it with Office 365, you need to have at least 300 licenses, but uh, Gemini is widely available. But Notebook LM addresses several concerns. First of all, uh, Gemini, Notebook LM, as well as BART, both use Gemini, which is Google's most advanced artificial intelligence. For me, I mostly do text-based tasks. My most common request is summarize. Um, it, it helps me process information faster. Um, and then um, Gemini is particularly good at text-based tasks. And in uh, 30 out of 32 benchmarks, Gemini beat the current state of the art. So in text, Gemini Ultra beat out GPT-4 in seven out of eight uh, text-based uh, benchmarks. Especially general and reasoning. So the parts that I care about when I'm doing text-based uh, analysis, AI analysis, that's, that's where Gemini is good at. So interestingly, uh, math, uh, basic arithmetic, Gemini and GPT-4 are, they're not 100%. Um, so it's better to use a calculator or a spreadsheet. <laughs> That's my opinion. 
Uh, and that's uh, and then challenging math like algebra, geometry, precalculus, and others, it's 53% is about 50%. Okay, so you got to keep in mind what it's good at and what it's not good at. So when you you when you do look at it and say, hey, this is a computer, the math should be right. It's like artificial intelligence is a situation where the computer is not that good at math. So you want to use the, there's other tools to use in these situations. Uh, again, spreadsheets, uh, scientific calculators. Now coding, here the benchmarks are for Python coding. And then the thing with the Gemini Ultra is actually it competes, it's now, it's competitive with human coders. But they found that when you had a human programmer collaborate with Gemini Ultra, the results were really good. So that's a concept in artificial intelligence where you want to, if the human and the artificial intelligence collaborate, you get an enhanced product. Uh, Gemini is also multimodal, so it can process image, video, and audio along with text. Now GPT-4 can do images, but it, it doesn't do video or audio. Uh, Notebook LM source grounding is key because you control the source. You don't have to worry about outside sources. And then basically unlimited number of words, 4 million words potentially. And each source can have up to 200,000 words. But that means, but again, 200,000 words as in comparison, Harry Potter is about 77,000 words, the first book. And so, uh, And that's how you chat with uh, YouTube videos. So when I, I, I watch a lot of um, educational videos on YouTube, so one of my productivity hacks, hacks is I listen to it at faster speeds, 1.25, 1.5, 1.752. 1 I typically listen to um, YouTube videos back at, at a 1.5 speed, so that increases my input. Um, now with the transcripts though, I can visualize and I can chat and I can summarize, I, I can manipulate the transcript and then I, I can verify. So it increases my ability to, uh, to process the, the information in the YouTube videos.